Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a, a, a great week and um, are looking forward to a, an amazing weekend during this time. So um, today, I want to talk about um, customers. I want to talk about f five top ways that you can get customers um, for your business, okay? So, um, we, you know, we all know as small business owners or business owners in general, like the heartbeat of you know your business is getting customers like if you don't have a transaction you don't have a business <laughs> and so you need to get customers right so there's there's a bunch of different ways that you can get customers and i'm going to share with you like some of the ways that you know are most common and i'm going to share with you like a little bit about the differences okay so um if you are new to my page never seen me before i'm carwana d i'm a business growth strategist um i teach women and minority small business owners how to grow their business um, so they can have consistent sustainable income um, you know and regular paying customers you know for their business um, especially like a surrounding government contracting you, you all know that you know I'm the expert in that in that area and so I can show you how to do these things but anyway um, over the next few minutes I'm gonna share three ways that you can get customers for your business hi Jennifer how are you all right so um, y'all ready for it so um, and, and by the way, like, you, you know, customers, like you really have to think about like, who is your customer? Even when you're starting a business, you want to know, you want to ideally have like an avatar, a customer avatar or a, an ideal customer. Who is your ideal customer? Who Who is your service? Like you have to know that first, right? Who is your service or your product aimed for? right what is your target market like is it a certain region all of those things you have to do the market research right um because if you're if you just really kind of build a wall and just you know or build a space and, and expect them to come and to know right um that you exist it doesn't really work that way um especially if you have overhead and you're opening up stores and all that stuff you have overhead um so you really have to ideally know who your customer is and then you have to speak to them right so you have to all of your marketing all of your reads like everything has to speak to your customer so that you can attract them you know to you all right so um i want to go on and share with you like you know top five ways um you know that you can get customers into your business and not really top five ways but five common ways <laughs> you know that you can get um con you know customers into your business so so that you can grow right and have consistent income as much as possible so number one by referrals like by being a part of certain networks and being a part of certain organizations like you know uh, or just you know providing great service to someone you can have a referral based business where people are referring right people are referring customers to you because they know your service right they know who you serve all of that stuff and so referrals is a really great um you know resource for businesses right but when you think about it um how many referrals would you need like if you solely depend on referrals right that's really a side hustle because you will have to have a lot of referrals to be able to have stability right but it's still something that you know you definitely um want to have right a referrals based business right in in one capacity or another all right so number two is advertising right so there's like facebook ads google ads like all of these different ads um that you can put up speaking to your customer and telling them you know how you can serve them and how you can help them get the transformation that they want and solve the problems um and how you can do that um faster for them so they can get results right and so advertising is a really 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 great way but some people don't have dollars you know some people don't have marketing funds and budgets you know to spend money on advertising um and there's you know um and and that's okay and then but you know there's there's ways to get advertising free you know but you want to have like a process when you're doing advertising you have to think about what is the customer journey like what is their journey going to be like do i have a sales funnel um you know do i have a page or is am i giving away something free just to get them to my email list so you have to think about what is your what is your marketing strategy going to be when you're advertising right so what is your marketing strategy um, going to be for them and so there's a lot you know on the back end that has to be in place um for that however advertising could be uh, very profitable you know if you have the dollars to put into that and um, you know just kind of hopefully your product and your positioning the way that you're positioning your service speaks volumes and speaks directly to a particular customer avatar okay all right so number three um, which is kind of similar to referrals but it's a word of mouth um, networking being a part of like the Chamber of Commerce and like networking groups that you know kind of 
does like word of mouth marketing or or maybe just word of mouth flyers, you know, um, similar to referrals, but it's just kind of like word of mouth. You're telling people about your business. But how many how many you know hours would you have to spend really when you think about it? You know, telling people about your services. You should definitely be doing that anyway. But like, if you're thinking about stability, right? If you're thinking about consistency, consistent income, right? Enough to pay your bills and your expenses, and to you know live a life, you know that you desire to live, right? You have to think about how much talking <laughs> would you have to do to do word of mouth marketing, right? That's the freeway, right? But. Um, but it's definitely something absolutely that you should be doing anyway, right? So sometimes there's going to be a mix of things, right? You want to do a mix of everything, right? So number four is organic. Sometimes, like say for instance, you open up a franchise like Starbucks, everybody knows Starbucks. Everybody, you know, it's a lot of people who that's they have a built-in traffic, right? There, there's a there's a built-in audience already of people who are um dedicated coffee drinkers, dedicated Starbucks lovers. And so if you open up maybe like a franchise, organically, the people are going to come, right? Um, um, another um, example of like organic traffic is like if you're a cons- if you're a blogger or, you know, if you're always on social media um, and people are seeing your stuff, you know, organically, you're not really selling to them, but you're just sharing a lot of value, right? Or they know your brand, they're familiar with who you are and they start coming organically, which is a really great way, right? To also, you know, get customers into your business. But y'all already know, you already know, um, I want to talk about customers, right? Cus- There's a difference between customers and those top four, those four ways that I just mentioned are great ways and you want to at least have a mix of them, right? If not all of them, be doing all of them. If you're trying to really, really um, get somewhere, right? Build momentum in your business. You want to be doing like a little bit of everything. But also I want to share with you um, number five, which is like, of course, um, my preferred method to get customers into your business is is contracts, right? Um, and that can be either government contracting or corporate contracting. So that and, they, and this is the difference between customers versus contracts. So let's say you have a goal and your goal is to, you know, have a six figure business, right? Make six figures a year. Um, if you have a product or service that you offer, you have to think about how many sales would you have to make in order to get that six figures, right? So each sale is going to be a customer, right? So you have to think about it like that. Um, hypothetically thinking, this is just an example. So if you were, you know, if you were, um, you know, selling a product and you have to get like a thousand, let's just say you have to get a thousand customers to meet that hundred thousand dollar um mark at the end of the year a thousand customers you have to think how much talking how many referrals how much advertising how much word of mouth how much organic stuff you're gonna have to you know do to make that happen versus contracts whether it's corporate or government right versus contracts um one customer I mean, just one contract could be a six-figure contract right so customers versus contracts like All day, I choose, uh, you know, contracts because it allows you to build sustainability. It helps you to have consistency in your business. Um, You know, you can have a six-figure contract and be working like two days out out of the month. And so there are opportunities out there for you to really, really grow your business. But you have to understand, like, how do I want to get paid? And these are some things that people don't, some, most people don't know and they don't understand like customers versus, um, versus contracts and why it's important for you to even be aware that you can have a contract based business. You can also have individual customers, right? But how many times, and you know, how many people want to chase individual customers when you can actually land large six figure contracts? And just imagine if you have a six figure contract and you're working like two to three days out of the month, how many six figure contracts can you do? Would you have the capacity to handle simultaneously, multiple, right? And so contracting is a, a really great way to build a sustainable business, to do it fast, to have um, massive income, to see continuous growth, right? To have regular paying customers, consistent income. And the great thing about contracting, whether it's government or corporate, is that there are contracts that are already out there specifically for you, for your services. They're already out there. All you have to do is identify them and respond to them. And of course, there's a process, right? Positioning and executing is is everything, like getting in position and understanding like how to leverage your status as a local small business and like all of these other social dis- disadvantaged areas. Um, There are contracts that are set aside for you, uh, but it's all about knowledge. And they say knowledge is power, right? But the power comes when you um, apply 
the knowledge. So applied knowledge is actually power. Um, and so it's a really great thing to, you know, research, get into, understand. Um, and there are contracts for like for everything. Like you can be a, hairsty a hairstylist and, you know, get really a, a, a nice size contract. So just imagine um, if you have a, a, a more uh, robust service to offer like IT or um, you, you do coding or <laughs> like marketing or you're a contractor or an electrician or a painter, like all of these things. Things, um, or you fix computers, like there's a lot of opportunities out there for um, business owners in general, but you have to understand and having a mix of all, like I would say, have a mix of all, all five, right? Uh, but contracts is definitely when you're looking for sustainability. And if you really want to know those businesses like Starbucks and those businesses, you know, like um, Amazon and Google and, you know, Fiverr, like all of these businesses, right? They have contracts and that's how they're able to be on the level that they are. They, they really do. Um, like the armor trucks, you know, that, um, that services banks and move money around. Those are contracts. Those are um, federally funded contracts, right? And that is somebody's business, right? So you can be a player in this this world of contracting um, as a small business as well. It's just really about understanding the process and being willing to learn how to do that, right? And being willing to invest the time, right? Um, and, it, and just invest in yourself, period. Um, to learn more about contracting opportunities and how to get started, like if you're interested in learning that, like I really have, I have a free training. Um, it's like 17 minutes. You can check it out at qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. Again, that's qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. And trust me, like if you if you really, really um, want to get started with this stuff, like I can show you over a six week period, you can be in position, you can be a, have applied knowledge and um, really be growing your business um, with government contracting because I show you the full blueprint of how to navigate that. Um, but not only on the government side, but also on the corporate side. So there's money that's money is available definitely um even for restaurants like right now you know um there's there's opportunities for you to get out of the rut you know that most you know restaurants are in because they don't know that you can get contracts like you can service government agencies you can service um uh, con you know programs like there's there's a lot of opportunities right and so anyway that was it that was my spiel for today i just wanted to share with you guys um five ways that you can really uh you know grow your business and, and attract customers right in the top the, uh, out of all of those like my favorite is the contracting part so it's qualify for government contracts.com thank you angela how are you um yeah so I'm, I'm waiting for you to book your call with me so we can you know work together because i know that this is something that you really want to do um, for your business. So, so anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Um, in fact, um, on my page, like if you check, check out my page, we're actually going to be doing a free event today. It's called get on fire. Um, fire stands for finance, insurance, real estate, and entrepreneurship. So we're teaching people how to leverage those four vehicles, um, you know, to build generational wealth. So, um, it's, it's only a $25 registration fee, right? But, you know, and it's going to be done over a, uh, two period, a two day period, basically today and tomorrow. Um, but definitely something that you, you know, you want to check out. Like if you're, if you're just interested in learning how to make your money work for you and learning how to, you know, build wealth and, and all of those great things and get started like with the business and all that, all that stuff. So, uh, anyway, you guys have a great day. Um, I'm Carwana D. Thank you for watching. Check me out at qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.